what to do before, during, and after an earthquake. We have learned that earthquake is the sudden shaking of the earth's surface. The two types of earthquakes, volcanic earthquake, earthquake happens with a strong volcanic eruption, and tectonic earthquake, caused by the movement of the earth's crust. A tectonic earthquake may occur above the ground or beneath the ocean. FIVOX Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology. It is an institution responsible in providing information on the activities of volcanoes, earthquakes, and tsunamis. What to do before, during, and after an earthquake? Before an earthquake. Evaluate your house or building structure. Check and identify some potential source of hazards. Familiarize and make plan of the routes you take on your way out from your house or building in case of an earthquake. Secure fire extinguishers, first aid kits, alarms, communication facilities, and some other things which will be useful and learn how to use it beforehand. Prepare for an emergency plan on how to deal with the disaster. Stack some food pack, potable water, spare clothes, flashlights, whistles, radio, batteries, and some other useful things just in case for safe evacuation. Conduct and participate in regular earthquake drills. During an earthquake, stay calm. Do not panic and run away from the house or building where you are. Do the drop, hover, and hold, and go under a table or desk or anything where you may hide or protect yourself. Do not use elevators so that if power failure occurs, you may not be trapped. If you are outside, stay away from buildings or electric posts or anything that might fall. Go to an open ground. If you are on the road inside the car, ask the driver to stop and park away from buildings, wires, or electric posts. When you are residing near a coastal place, be aware of tsunamis that may occur. After an earthquake, when the earthquake is over, walk briskly to the nearest emergency exit and find a safe place. Be aware on the aftershocks. Aftershock is a smaller earthquake that follows a larger earthquake. Check members of the family and seek help if someone is missing. If you are in your school, follow and listen to the instructions of your teacher. Check yourself and others from injuries. Some water and electrical lines for damages and any other things that may cause hazards. Check for fires if there are any. Some damages from earthquake may cause fires to occur. 
In case you see a fire, locate to the nearest fire control or alarm unit and use it. Bridges and overpasses may have been damaged, so do not attempt to cross it or use it. Authorities may issue some instructions to reduce the effects of earthquakes. Keep yourself updated and alert. Did you know that there are about 50 to 55 earthquakes per day and 200,000 earthquakes per year all over the world? Some earthquakes have huge impacts and can be felt. Well, some earthquakes cannot be felt and only instrument seismograph can detect and record that there's already an earthquake.